Tom Ford, call me a fashion killer. Yeah. Went from a drug What's up, what's up? It's your boy, Greg Like Mind of Bozo. Hey, welcome back to the art department, baby. Welcome back to the art department. Hey, let's do this. Look, everybody been asking me, you know, how did I get this this vinyl like this on here? I'm gonna show y'all. How I get the vinyl that big. Let me tell you something, man. It's easy, and I'm gonna show you. But also, don't 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 stop yourself from doing vinyl. I mean, that's 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 a that's a learning point. That's the starting point. You know what I'm saying? With vinyl, before you jump into everything else, I'm not saying that nobody can't do transfers because I love transfers. But I also still use vinyl. Also, so don't let anybody talk you out of vinyl. And I'm saying using vinyl because vinyl is very very good, man, and a learning experience. You know what I'm saying? If you do it properly. It won't wash off. I had stuff, man, for five years. And I've been washing and washing it. So don't let nobody talk bad about vinyl. It's not no iron on. It's not none of that they want to call it, man. It's not no cheap, you know what I'm saying, whatever, you know. But start from, start, me personally, I would start from there to learn your heat press, to learn your cutter, to learn the program. And it, it, it's, it's a great way. It's a learning process, man. So, you know, don't don't deprive yourself of learning. Of growing, getting better at it, cause like I said, man, I still use heat presses to, I still use my heat press and vinyl to this day. You know what I'm saying? I love puff vinyl. I love regular vinyl. I love the reflective vinyl. I just showed y'all guys. You know, it's a sort of cutters that you can use. You know, and it's all about being creative with it. You know, just learn how to do it. You know, practice. And learning, you know what I'm saying? Because the ones, just like I said before, man, just like in screen print, it's those, you know what I'm saying, that, hey, they they, they, they got messed up um, images or they didn't cure it right, you know what I'm saying? And it wash out, you know? But if you do it right and you do it on a, um, in a in basically, you know what I'm saying, a cotton shirt, I want to say that, man, then I think that, you know, I, well, I know that it would be on there for years, you know? But you can't just wash it this day, that day, that day, this day, same day, you know what I'm saying, this and that. You know, you just got you to gotta take care of it. You got to turn it inside out and wash it. That's all a part of vinyl. But we're going to go into it, man. I'm going to use uh, Cameo City Let. Just get into this. I got to let my face log me in. Uh, and this is what we did, if you can see it, guys. Um, this is what we did. I got other designs on there, too. But this is what we did. Um, we enlarged it and we made the mat into a 24. Um, I normally use the 12 by 12, but we made it into a 12 by 24 to make it longer. And then I made it bigger. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you don't have this mat, um, it's a cricket mat. And I wore it out. And it's actually, you know what I'm saying? You see, I got the tape on it. But, you know, I haven't bought another one yet. I'm um, continue to use that until I can't no more. You feel me? <laughs> we on a budget, but um, uh, this is the mat I'm using. Um, it's a longer mat. Uh, it's a cricket mat. They also have cellulite mats also for your cameo. But um, I'm gonna use this for right now. Um, to get it started, and what we're gonna be using is puff vinyl, black puff vinyl, and we're gonna put it on a black shirt, black on black, black on black on black on black on black. Okay. Um, so like I said, this is it right here. So we're gonna go over to the cut. And like I said, you got to learn your cuts, you know, um, like just because, you know, cause sometimes your, your blade will wear out. So you got to make it, you know what I'm saying? A force, uh, a little more deeper, you know what I'm saying? to cut. So it's up to you. You got to learn your cuts. You got to learn your, your machine, your cameo. And like I said, this is my cameo. Uh, I got the Cameo 4 Black Edition, um, and I got the Cameo 3. You know, it's my baby. It's my baby. It took me a long, you know, took me to a lot of places, baby. We got we got a lot of wars, war stories to tell. But this is the um, one I'm going to be using right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. I got my settings. Um... So like I said, you gotta you gotta learn your settings before you can do yours. Um, but uh, this is this is settings that I know, and we're gonna cut out this right here. Make sure you image it and make sure the shiny part is pointed up and the dull part is pointed down. You can tell, you can feel it by telling which you know how you're supposed to do it. 
on um, when you're putting your vinyl down. But let's go ahead and do it. We're going to go ahead and cut it. In this art department, dog, that's all I got. And all my hard work and my talents take me to the top. I can't give up on my family, they all I got. All right, all right, we done. All right, we're going to take this off and go peel it out. Be right back. All right, all right, we're back, baby. We're back, baby. Okay, look, this is your weeder. You know, you can get, you, you you see all different shapes of weeders, man, but this is your weeder. Uh, like I said, I got war stories with this weeder right here. <laughs> Been with me for a long time. But this is your weeder. This is what you're going to need uh, to peel it out to make it look like this right here. You see that? Bam. You know, like I said, they do the shiny side, dull side, you know. See, if you put it on a, you put it this way, you know, bam. It looked backwards that way, but it's correct that way. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, heat press it down on the shirt. So, let's go over to the heat press now. Okay, you guys, we finished weeding. We got it posted. And like I said, when you're doing t-shirts, you want to make sure you four fingers down. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I always make a joke about it, man. Four fingers down. You got fatter fingers, three fingers. You got fatter fingers than that, two fingers. You got fatter fingers than two fingers. Hey, you need to get a ruler, baby. <laughs> you need to get a ruler, man. <laughs> Poor blank. <laughs> but, um, okay, we got our temperature. Our temperature, like I said, you got to learn the equipment that you're using. You got to learn that you have to learn the equipment that you're using. From your Cameo to the settings on your blade, to the heat press, the pressure, and temperature. You got to learn your um, your, um, your your um, your equipment. You got to learn your equipment. And this is the heat gun. Like I said, I keep telling everybody to get that. You see that? It tells you exactly what your temperature is. Because what your temperature read on that gauge doesn't mean it's the temperature. It doesn't mean it's the temperature that, you know what I'm saying, that's it, that it is on this heat press on um on the on the plates so that's why i always say make sure you get a heat gun spend the time this this you this is essential because either you're going to burn it or you're not going to have enough heat coming out of this and you're going to mess up shirt after shirt or it's going to look like it's on there then somebody go wear it and 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 wash it it's pill right away you know what i'm saying that's why i say you got to properly if you get into this business properly get the equipment that you need to be successful man to make sure your customers or oh, um it's good especially if you're doing a brand you don't want your reputation out there that you know it's pillar and that's why vinyl be having a bad name because a lot of people you know what i'm saying they don't use the proper equipment or instructions and they give it to customers and they peel off so that leaves a bad taste in the customer that they spread the rumors about this and that so we don't want to do that but we about to press up this um puff it's going to be a firm press, um, and, you know, it's going to be for 20 seconds. I normally use 20 seconds for everything. I don't care what it is. If it's sublimation or something like that, I probably go like 60 or something like that. But anything else, I think I'll probably leave it on, you know, 20. You know, like I said, uh, we're about to do this, and then let's see how it comes out. All right, y'all? Right, let's do it. All right, it looks good, it looks good, it looks good. Throw that in the trash. All right, look at that, guys. Look at that, man. Ooh, look, let's look at that. Good God, oh, my, my, my. You can't tell me that that is not nice there. Look at that. This is what you call puff, puff, y'all. Black on black puff. Look at that. You see that? So, hey, vinyl is nothing wrong with vinyl. It's just doing it properly. Do it properly. Take your time and do it right. You know what I'm saying? Satisfy your customers, whether you're starting a brand, a brand or a t-shirt business. Make sure your customers are satisfied, man. Do it right. Make sure you get your temperature gun. Make sure you get your settings right. Make sure, you know, everything is just correct, even from the pressure on down. 
you know, because you got to apply pressure, you know, to make it come out good. You know, a lot of people be doing puff and their puff don't come out like this because, you know why? Because I'm applying it right. I'm doing it right because I'm like that. <laughs> but, hey, that's all I got for you guys, man. Peace and blessings, man. It doesn't matter where you start at. It's a matter where you're trying to get to, you know. Become the best at what you do. Become the GOAT. Peace and blessings, y'all.